Hey, Luke. Yeah. I'm looking at something on the desk here. Yeah. I got some dice. Yeah. Tell me about those things. All right. So this is, uh, it's really cool, actually. This is, uh, they're called Go Dice. Okay. From a company called Go Cube. So we talked years ago about uh it feels like that yeah a rubik's cube a smart rubik's cube mm -hmm. uh well these are smart dice okay uh it's pretty awesome and there is a an app to go with it so there's a go dice app that you can download in uh, the play store and what this is is these are bluetooth dice okay and first things first they have this nice carrying case there's a little pouch for it, but mm -hmm. this case is awesome. It's magnetic closure. This is actually the charger for the dice. So they actually each the, of the die have have a, yeah they have a charge to them. Um, it won't come out if it's upside down. Mm -hmm. but if you turn it right side up, you just twist and they just come out. Okay. So first, first of all, that's cool. Really cool design. Um, next. These dice, so there's their regular size die. Mm -hmm. There's not much room for battery, and they yeah. don't feel heavy. That's they feel saying, like they, a die. They feel really light. So they need a charge. Okay. These charge here, so the fives, if you look at the five, it has a little uh, gold coloration. Mm -hmm. That's where you put those. Those are called pips on a dice. Right. Uh, you put it on these little contact mounts on the charger, and it lights up, and you hold it no more than 13 seconds. And the light, the die will light up and let you know it's charged. So that's it. That's it. Now, that thing was dead 13 seconds later. This dice is fully charged and ready to go. Okay. So you just, you know, do that for each one. So you're t talking 13 seconds, six die. Six, right. You know, a little Less bit. Less than two oh, minutes. Yep. And you're ready to go to play the game. Okay. And so what that does is when you pull up the uh, Go Dice app, you then uh, it pairs with the dice. It has you roll them, mm -hmm. and it then it also it senses all these die are color coded. It senses which die you're rolling, and it senses what die face rolled up. And that's how you play your game. So there's some kind of sensor in each one of those mm -hmm. that it knows what side's facing up. Yep. And it also sends a signal to the app as to which one of these. Which color. Which ye yellow has a one on. Yep. Okay. And so the, the app has uh, 10 plus free okay. games that you can play. And these are these range anywhere from your traditional like Yahtzee, Farkle kind of die mm -hmm. games to some, uh, you know, really kind of interesting just made for you know these dice kind of games okay. um ones that are like uh you're around a swimming pool and you're trying to roll two you roll two die and then you can either add them together and get a number or use them separately and you're trying to get rid of one through 12 on your side mm -hmm. first person to get rid of all their numbers wins the round and then you play like three rounds and the first person to a uh, highest number of rounds one after three rounds is the winner so this is something that i mean it's small portable that yeah you could take out when you go out to dinner yeah and you're sitting at the table and you've got three or four people yep you know everybody puts their face in their phone yeah well why not just play a game yeah and, and this can, thing will keep score and track everything for it you. tracks everything keep score you can put users in um on there and it keeps track of those people so if you're playing with the same people you don't have to put everybody's name in every single time it's okay. just you know it's me and scott are playing this game all right which game do we want to play okay and then you just roll it registers you know for yahtzee for instance it you roll it sees which ones you have and then you pick, where do I want to put those on my Yahtzee? Yeah. You put them, and then it's the next person's turn. That's very cool. It's really nice for, you know, it's very simple dice games. Nothing sure. nothing too uh, complicated, but uh, very easy on the go. Mm -hmm. I think the thing for me that makes it um, a worthwhile thing is just that these feel like regular dice yeah they, they have the weight of regular dice yeah they didn't feel at all like oh 
you can feel some kind of sensor in there right wobbling around like some kind of no and they charge in 13 seconds right to a full charge now that full charger will get you about two hours of play time it says um and i don't think it shuts off so if you yeah. play for an hour and then put them away after an hour they're going to be dead okay so it's not like you put them in the case and they'll turn off and you'll come back and have an hour left mm -hmm. it's just you're going to have to charge them every time okay and this case there's a it just pops out of here and there's a little screw that you open and it has two AAA batteries okay so i was going to ask does this thing take its own charge nope takes batteries okay so you don't have to worry about carrying around a cord. Mm -hmm. I think, um, you know, I would maybe have liked to see a way to charge this, but yeah. I think it keeps the size down possibly mm -hmm. for just using batteries. Um, and, you know, two AAA batteries isn't that expensive. Well, and we figure out you know, what you're actually charging. You're, you're going to sip right battery right off of that. it's not going to take much at all. Right. So, uh, so these things, it comes in at one, 20 for the set of six okay i believe they have a set of five also available um if you want uh interesting a different size set of die or a different set mm -hmm. um but i think that would uh, affect you know the different games you could play okay uh and most of the games tell you you know when you go to s start them up mm -hmm. what um however many dice you need or whatever like that. Well, what's cool about that too is, I mean, it's an app. So you would assume that potentially over time there will be other games. added. Yeah. To that. So there's featured games in there. There's kids you um, some, you know, classic games, fun for kids, friends and family, math kind of games, role playing mm -hmm. games. They have like a little RPG style game. Mm -hmm. And then in here, um, you know, it shows you, what uh, die are connected. It shows us the battery level of those too. Yep. Okay. And then you can add die if you need to, and it'll go through a, a it'll scan for them. Hmm. And then I'll add them as you go. Um, but then they also have their, uh, a link to their site where you can, um, see other games that might be possible, you know, okay. might possibly come up most of the time. If anything new comes up, it's just going to show up. Sure. On, they're uh, just on the, the game list. That's pretty cool. And again, these are called the, the Go, Go Dice. Go Dice. Yep. And yeah. these are from Go Cube. Go Cube. Yeah. So the website for that, I remember, was Get Go Cube. Yeah. So going to be the same place for yep. these guys. Get Go Cube, and then you'll be looking for the Go Dice. And I mean, I've only spent uh, you know about a week with these, but I think I've probably played five or six games with them, and. It's really cool. I think the thing that's most impressive is just how fast they charge. Yeah. And they're just ready to go. Yeah. And, and and they're just, it's an easy, fun little game, especially if you like the tactile, like actually rolling mm -hmm. dice. Because there's, I mean, honestly, there's a whole bunch of Yahtzee games that you can just play on your phone without right. having to do anything. You don't have to buy anything physical to play these games. But if you want to play with people... Right. You know, you either have to find the Yahtzee game that lets you play mm -hmm. locally with people or you're having to play actual Yahtzee or this. You can just everybody rolls their dice. It's just one person keeps score or you just pass the phone around, and, you know, put in your your Yahtzee thing. That's cool. Yeah, but it's a it's a really cool option for a gamer mm -hmm. that really also likes tech, you know. Yeah, it's one of those. uh that's in grads things. Absolutely. Where it's like, I don't know what to get you. I know you're into this or I know you like weird things or I yeah. know you're like, this is one of those, what do you get somebody who has a bunch of stuff already? Right. They don't have this. Yeah. And these are the go dice. Yeah. Thank you, Luke. No problem. All right. That's going to do it for this episode of the podcast. Thanks for listening. We appreciate it. If you guys have any questions, feedback, concerns, comments, anything, Shoot us an email at podcast at androidguys.com. We'd love to hear from you one way or the other. Uh, Luke, if someone wants to get a hold of you, how do yeah. they do that? Uh, I am on Instagram and Twitter at Luke Gall, G A U L. And I'm on Instagram at Scott Webster and Twitter as SWebster77. Until next time, thanks for listening. See ya.